Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new Aviation Jack video, I hope you're doing it really well. So today I'm actually creating a tutorial video, not a full flight video as you can probably see. Um, so today I've been, I'm going to do a video on what I use to plan my flights. This video has been requested so much by so many different comments, um, you know, or everyone's always asking, oh, what tool do you use for your flight simming, um, for your flight planning? And I'm like, oh, Sim Toolkit Pro. But everyone always um, follows up with, could you make a video on it? And I'm like, yeah, sure, I don't have a problem. So, um, we're doing SimTalkit Pro. Um, it's pretty, it's an amazing software. It's literally everything I want. It's an electronic flight bag, pretty much, EFB. I moved to this from Project Fly, and it was one of the best meals I've ever done. Literally, it's got everything you want. However, this video is not a tutorial of it. It's uh, how I've planned my flights. But I have already done a tutorial on it, um, I think, last year. So, if you want to check that out, you can. I'll leave that in the link in, the, in my description. And then you can watch that, make your mind if you want it or not. But um, this is how you plan the flights. So what you want to do, you want to come up here and press the download button. Pretty simple. That's all you've got to do. Then you run the installer. And that is it. So um, yeah, look, 100% free. There's absolutely no payment involved whatsoever. It is free. You click this, you download it, you run the installer, and then it opens up with SimTalkit Pro. And that's what I'm going to show you on what I use to flight plan. So I'll let you know that in a minute. But before we do that, let's go to SimBrief, which is a key key um tool to this flight planning thing right welcome to the simbrief homepage on the internet so um simbrief is what you use to actually flight plan your flight so your co-routes your departure your arrival your route um everything there your um what should I call your ofps your data your um waypoints everything to plan the flight is in here so your route and everything like that is used through SimBrief, which is, which is what SimTalkit Pro uses, or well, it links up with it. So you want to go to this website and you want to sign up for it, and I'm going to leave that bit there because that's all you've got to do. You've just got to sign up for it, and then you've got your SimTalkit Pro account nearly ready. Then what you want to do, you want to come over to SimTalkit Pro once you've downloaded it, and you'll be greeted with this home page. Um, this is just a dashboard, nothing too special. It's just for showing you what flights are around, the latest news, friends, or anything like that, which is a new feature actually. Um, right, flight planning. So what I do is, you've probably seen in the videos, I come over here and I click flight planning. What you then want to do is click create new flight plan. From this page you get given a dispatch with SimBrief part and this is a bit that you want. And it's really really simple to activate it by the way. And advanced options, you can then put in loads and loads of different options over here to flight plan your flight but that's just that. So departure, we're going to do a random flight, which is actually, actually not too random because this is the one I'm flying actually today. Dublin over to our destination airport in Bucharest. Oh, Henry, sorry. LROP. Search fleet. This is a bit where you're going to add a fleet or your aircraft, which I've already done. So we're flying with the SP. There we go, Ryanair. Gives you ATC call sign. We're going to create one today. It's going to be 6 Yankee. And then the flight number... Let's just give it some round numbers, 653. Um, the plan format, I like mine in EasyJet, I fly them the most. Um, you can choose any airline to have your OFP flight plan in, but if you keep switching it around and around, it gets quite confusing, so I like to keep it to one, and EasyJet for me is the best. Then you have your plan unit, so you're flying in kilograms or pounds. If it's kilograms, you're more likely flying in Europe. If it's pounds, you're probably flying in America. Um, that's just the way it is. And then you want to click generate plan, like that. Now, once your flight plan is generated, before we get to this, I need to tell you a step that I obviously didn't do because I've already activated my SimBrief. The second you press generate plan, it's going to come up with your login details for SimBrief. All you have to do is log in. <laughs> that is it. Um, that's the only step. Just log in and then press OK and then it will just do your flight plan for you. Then you'll be greeted with this page. Now, this page is essentially just your flight plan page, your routes, your essential details here what network you're flying on, that's in for me. And this is a five hour flight that I'm doing. Oh, three hours 56, that's gone down a bit. Four hour flight basically that I'm doing. Down to Romania um, later on today. So this is a this is a good flight, can I you know, use an example for. But um, yeah, and here, this is your flight plan. This is your route, all here, your arrive runway, departure runway. But then what you have to do is press export, export as FMS plan file. And then get given all of the add-ons that are available to export a file over to the flight. You're probably wondering what is this file? This is an FMS file. 
use your FMS, it says up here, FMS export. So you know the MCDU or FMC that you have when you plan your flight, a um, little computer in the bottom uh, near the pedestal, that is basically where this file is going, so you get your code route. What you want to do is click the aircraft that you're flying. So for example, I'm flying the PMDG 737-800. So you click the PMDG flight plan and you'll click save. You'll also direct it to the way um, to the directory where you where the flight plans are saved. For us, that is in the this PC, um, local disk, program files, Lockheed Martin, prepare for DV5, PMDG, flight plans, NGXU, and then this is where all your flight plans are. I'll put that directory in the bottom in the description. Um, but this is where all the flight plans go. It says it right here. So then when you load into the aircraft, you then you then put your code route in and you put these four um, iCals in. So four here, four here, eight. And then you press click in the little box and then it will come up with your flight plan. And that is literally it. That is what I use my flight plan in. Press OK and then fly now and you're good. We're going to get into the sim. And all right, everyone. So now we're back into the flight simulator. Um, this is where we say the flight plan, if you remember, EG, not that one, <laughs> uh, what one is it, this one, um, EIDW to LROP. So once you're in the actual sim itself, in the aircraft that you're choosing to fly with, you want to get into the aircraft like so, go down to your FMC like I said, click the FMC part, position in it, and first of all what you want to do is quickly just say what airport you're at, which is of course Dublin, which is EIDW, or Echo India, uh, Delta Whiskey. Press the route, and then we could, you can do it two ways. You can put your code in straight away by doing what I said, or press the flight plan request NGXU, and then pop in this one in. See so EIDW to LROP. Select. Wait for it to load up. It will take a little while. Load. Here we are, and then our route has been loaded in. You can press activate, execute, and there's a purple line with our route in it. If you go to legs page, here we go. Everything there. Come back up here, zoom out a bit, and here you have our full route. And that's how you get the route from um, Syntalkit Pro into your aircraft. Um, of course, it's the exact same. There's no difference in it. The exact same route, and that's all you've got to do. Pretty simple, right? not too bad and yeah there we have it thank you for watching i hope it's helped somewhat and um i'll see you all for another video very shortly and it is very shortly because i'm flying this route today <laughs> so this will be up in a few days um okay i'll see you very shortly Bye bye